Hello, welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug, and today we are going to look at the Add Edit Multiple Items list, um, which is a great feature in QuickBooks that allows you to edit multiple customers or vendors or items at one time. Um, so if we go up into our list menu and we go down to the bottom, it says Add Edit Multiple List Entries. What it's going to do is bring up a screen that looks similar to an Excel document. It's very similar to an Excel document. It works a similar way as well. Um, you see each row is actually a customer. In this case, we're looking at the customer list, and each row is a customer with all of their information. Name, addresses, phone number, all that good information. Scroll over to the side to see more. Um, and each, so we go down each row and we look at a different customer. And the great thing about this is it works just like an Excel document. You can go right in here and type something. So let's say Mike Mollick. Uh, if you prefer to go by Mikey, I can go right in here and change it to Mikey. I can go over here to the side and see which customers am I missing email addresses from. I can go right down the list, identify the ones I'm missing. If I have an email program open, I can copy and paste the emails right out of that program right into here just as if it were an Excel document. Um, so very handy. You can also, uh, if you were to go all the way to the bottom, if you had a lot of customer information, say, in an Excel document that maybe you had exported from another uh, program, you could take that information, you could copy and paste it right in here. The, the name, the address, phone number, all of this information, as long as it's formatted in the same column uh, uh, layout, then it'll paste right in here, and, all, and that's how you can add a bunch of customers at one time. So let's say, for example, um, what we want to do this time is actually cut down our customer list because we've got this customer list that's been going for years and a lot of these we don't even use anymore. They're not active customers. So we want to kind of pare that list down a little bit so it's not so cumbersome to look through when we're scrolling through it. Um, so, you know, we may have a lot of customers that are still on here, but we just don't use anymore. What we can do is is uh, go into, we customize the columns. On the right hand side, we're going to, it's going to show me all the different columns that I'm currently viewing in what order I'm viewing them. On the left side, it shows me all the other characteristics that are available in the customer uh, center that I'm not looking at. So let's go ahead and pick the inactive column. And we can move it into the place that we want to see it. So let's move it up. So it's more around the customer balance. We hit OK. And now here's the inactive column right here. So what I can do now very quickly is I can just go through and make some of these customers inactive. I don't want to delete them. I don't want to delete their history. I just want to make them inactive so that I don't see them on my list anymore. Um, I can always reactivate them. I can always bring them back. They're not actually going anywhere. They're just not showing up on my list anymore when I scroll through my list. So I've just selected four here that I've decided to make it inactive. I hit save changes. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I must have hit five. It's uh, made five record changes. I'm sorry, yeah, we changed this guy's name. That was the fifth one. Um, it says it made five changes, saved it, we closed, and we're done. I just made all those inactive and changed that one person's name. Um, so I hope this has been helpful for you. The add, edit, multiple list feature is a great feature, I think, when you want to do uh, make a bunch of changes at one time. See you next time.